So we bombed Syria in response to rocket attacks against U.S. targets in Iraq. I feel anything like that's never good. You know, eye for an eye makes everybody blind. A tooth for a tooth makes everybody gummed. But you got to assume they deserved it. But whoever said to do it, now lives are lost. Are they held accountable in eternity via karma, etc.? Um, the people that had to do it, are they going to have nightmares, night terrors, postpartum, not postpartum, but uh, a feeling of um, not able to, to go on with their life because they've taken lives. Uh, it's pretty scary, just in general. You know, it's their job. They can't say no. They do. They get in trouble. Then they go forth, and then they're uh, stuck the rest of their life trying to figure stuff out. I guess uh, Lady Gaga has a dog walker. He was out in West Hollywood walking, and uh, he got shot. And they stole two of the three dogs he was walking. One of them ran away, but they stole the two French Bulldogs, which is insane. So you figure, like, what's going through that dude's head? It's like, oh, man, we got to get those dogs. I'm sure they were worth money if they wanted to breed them or something, or maybe he knew they were. But Lady Gaga found out she was filming a movie overseas and uh, put out a $500,000 reward for information. Uh, I think Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, should probably be... Uh, contacted for that one getting back to vets or kind of back to the bombing in syria but saying about thirty-seven thousand um united states american vets struggle to find stable housing which really sucks again you figure you know you fight for your country you can't even find a place to live afterwards and i wonder about the sales pitch to get them to sign up you know to push them to uh become soldiers and then you know fast forward and then they can't find a place to live there was one dude who was like living in a tiny one bedroom apartment with no heat for years which is nuts uh tiger woods flipped his car thought it was a bentley assumed it was a bentley but somebody said it's a genesis it looked mangled and mashed he might not golf again kind of understand why tiger woods is so wild he's from anaheim kind of like me he's from west side anaheim and uh i wonder if that dictates his wildness you know with the ladies and being good at what he does and partying so hard. Uh, just finished a book called There Is No Planet B. It's actually really good. It's by Mike Berners Lee and brings up the Anthropocene, which is uh, basically big people, small planet, actively affecting the environment and climate, which it was never really like that before. So now everything we do kind of goes hand in hand with everything. Um, basically saying to keep fossil fuel on the ground, uh, limit, you know, air travel, find alternative methods of fuel, solar, wind, and that there is no other option. We can't get to a different planet. The closest planet is like 40 years away in a tiny, tiny aircraft that doesn't even take into account fuel or food to last that long. Who'd want to go that long, 40 years, just to get there and find out? Um, so we have to take care of what we have now. Super true. I mean, it's pretty messed up. Profit greed pushes everything to the point of no return. And we are where we're at. We need to make some big decisions before we ruin where we live. So everybody that can recycle, think about your carbon footprint and try to do what you can to improve that. Saw the movie Land in theaters about this lady. Um, essentially, they say later, but her family was killed in a concert shooting and she just went to the wilderness, gave up everything and uh, didn't know what she was doing. Almost died, met a really cool human being, didn't want to get any information from the outside world. That fool had cancer, changed her life. He was on his deathbed. She went looking for him, left her little cabin, and uh, the whole world whipped around, right? Kind of cool. Um, it was rated PG, so I thought I wasn't really expecting it to be that good usually, you know, PG movie. I don't know. Um, also found out <laughs> Cherokee Nation asked Jeep to uh, st stop using their name in their vehicle totally understand but just think it's just a little bit too late um uh, jeep said no um i think it goes back to like the redskins or the cleveland indians but then i think of like um obviously those are human beings and people but i think of like the people in tucson arizona and then like the hyundai tucson it's like yo give me a better car or don't use our city as a crappy car with a hundred thousand mile a year powertrain warranty and the only reason you have the warranty is because nobody would buy it without it um that being said it's hard to stay amazing i know you've been trying Keep it up. Be the best you. Be kind. Be in control. Think about how you can help improve the planet. Breathe deep. 
Size of relief, get your sleep, drink lots of water, induces. Podcast, Jeep it.